right, I am now in Austin, Texas at Afrotech. Got flewed out. Like, I'm just so thankful, so grateful, so blessed. Got flewed out from my school, or I guess by my school, to Afrotech. It's actually day two of Afrotech. Today is Monday, and it is like almost 10 o'clock. Um, I actually had to go to Walgreens and get a negative COVID test as soon as I flew here. Um, I literally was at home for like four hours, um, a little bit more actually, let me take that back. I slept for three or four hours, but I got some good sleep on the plane too. It's good lighting right here. Yes, 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 I should be able to take some good photos. Um, but let me show you how the room. I actually, so back for it real quick, I got my school or I reached out to my school about like potentially paying for this. Um, and I kid you not, like. The beginning of October, like I was like, you know what, I kind of want to go, and I have FOMO. I've been getting FOMO just ridiculous, so um, childish. So I was like, um, and I asked my job first, and HP, of course, like they ain't got no money right now. So they were like, they couldn't, and I was like, okay, cool. And I sat on it for a minute. And I was like, you know what, let me ask my school because I have been doing a research little project and the research um, PI or whatever he was like he only will pay for it if we're presenting like our research which is understandable but then I actually reached out to the dean of like my school and he just cc'd his assistant was like put on his card period so I'm like, okay, cool. And really, like, that's just such a blessing, but also it just shows, like, paying it forward. Like, I volunteered there over the summer with, like, some kids um, interested in data science, like some high schoolers. I volunteered there for, like, a week, and I made, like, some great, great connections and actually got to know the dean of the school very, very well. So definitely, you know, do that kind of work. Make those connections. You never know how to pay off. Um, but... Because of that, basically what I'm saying is that my hotel is very far away, so I'm not at the actual conference or convention center or even in that area because all the rooms were sold out. So I am at the university, like the University of Texas um, area. This is a Hilton hotel, but in that area. So then when I first was checking in, he was like, he didn't have a room available till, um, he didn't have a room available till like three and I was like, y'all, I got to go. I need to like do my hair and get ready now so I can go to a conference. So this is the room that I got, like just like whatever he had. And I'm just like, I don't care. And this is the room. My bag and the bathroom. lights um, in the bathroom love it love it love it love how the vanity is like hotels need to take notes like we need vanity space we need all of that and they gave no good on the towels I said at first that they could come in and clean but I might not have them do that I'll see but cool, all right, so I'm about to get ready. Um, and I didn't do a pack with me, but I'm gonna like take my clothes out and I'm gonna show y'all like what I packed. I'm really playing around like I ain't gonna know what to be. So this is gonna be real quick. I'm gonna just show y'all what I packed. So I'm trying out like a capsule wardrobe because I don't know exactly what I wanna wear with what. So this way, everything is gonna go with everything, right? So all neutrals, all tans, black and white, so that everything will go with everything. Um, this is the coat that I had on. Literally everything is from Zara too. I did order a few things from Mango, but like as I'm unpacking, I'm like, everything is from Zara. So Zara, 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 everything up here is from Zara. So two pair of leather pants, one that's kind of a cargo style, one that's more of a fit and flare. A white button down shirt, black blazer. Um, this is like a tan jacket kind of thing. Um, but it's like wool material, very warm. 
Um, this is a sweater kind of cropped. It has like this little collar V on it. Um, this is a vest and shoes. Literally, Zara boots. Um, those are Celine little furry clogs. And these are Balenciaga sneakers, but those are Zara loafers. Um, over here, I was gonna actually, well I did call room service and wanted to get some more hangers, but they didn't pick up. So the rest of the stuff is gonna go in the drawer, but um, two pair of jeans, light, dark. I'm gonna be here for five days, y'all. And it's like stuff in the evenings. So I just need to break everything. These are like parachute pants. This is actually my Beyonce shirt. Um, church girl. I thought it would be cute. I like the colors of it. Long sleeve, easy. These are some stirrup leggings. Um, this is like black, just literally black basic stuff. So like a unitard, I actually got from Amazon. Um, a bodysuit and a turtle boot. Like just black, easy to pair items. Did bring this marine sear, but black again, item. Um, this is a black blouse that's a little bit dressier. Bags, I brought Dior, um, Lady Dior and the Chanel wallet on chain. I've been keeping this wallet on chain with me, like I took it with me to Jamaica. So it's just already in my carry-on bag. I did feel like this Lady Dior will be just cute. I love a top handle. So just days or nights when I want to be just a little top handle -y. Ding, ding, ding. Then, <laughs> then I will throw this on. Um, and this bit is not really mess, but what I'm gonna wear today, Chloe t-shirt, I'm gonna wear this knit skirt top combo with the loafers today. And this is from Mango, and I'll show y'all the look when I get ready. Okay, this is what I'm wearing. This is the cream, this is from Mango. This is like a little set, it's like a little sweatery knit skirt. Zara loafers and the set. That's pretty much it. And I'm gonna wear my um, Goyard tote with my computer in it. But yep, that's it. So I made it. I had like a journey getting here, but I'm here and I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around and show y'all. But it's basically tech essence fest. Like y'all, they probably can't even hear me right now. But say hey. He's my new friend. So we already making plans for tonight. We ready to turn up basically. But um, I'm gonna walk around and show y'all the different booths because it's basically like every tech company is here with a lot of their black representation and have really cool booths. So I'm gonna show y'all. This is what I'm selling. This is what you need. This is why I'm trying to help you. 
and then whoever you're selling to, yeah, but you, right? And it's how you respond to all of those yeah, buts that tells you where you go in your life. Ask me where we sell flip sticks, man. <laughs> what are you selling? We sell them at Target Nationwide, Best Buy, which. So my question to you is, my question to you, Mark, is imagine what we can do with the shark. Yes. But now we're about to go to a big event, Google event, robot event. Then they're not going to go out. Move. They about to go to some happy hours. And this is like the group chat the in girls real life. The girls are together. The chat made out of group chat. Yes. Um, and then I'm going to class. But then we'll be back out. Free has class. Miss Data Science too. Okay, so heading back out to like some other little events. Um, Balenciaga's leather pants from Zara. Beyonce. Church girl. Shirt. And yeah. And oh my gosh, y'all, I packed like my bag. I packed it with poetry bags of like my makeup, my purse for tonight. I am not coming back to this room today until like the end of the night. I paid so much in Ubers yesterday. Like, I kid you not, almost $100 in Ubers yesterday. Um, just doing the most. And I mean, I had class yesterday, so I didn't need to come back. But between like Ubering to... um. Yeah, Ubering back down there, Ubering 
to where we um, went after that, Ubering home. No, 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 no. Like, count me out for the Ubers today. Um, yeah, count me out. But um, I'm also, I'm putting like my lip gloss in this bag. Um, but I'm also gonna wear like this little sweater over the shirt one for warmth because it is cold outside um but also like when i actually get into like the parties and the events it's hot so it's like you gotta really dress in layers and stuff um but i'm gonna like drape this over and i think that'll help like kind of break up the monotony too of the look of like just a white black white black um yeah i'll show y'all let me put it on and my uber is coming in like five minutes so I'm tripping <laughs> here it is right here so just like this little tan um, little sweatery thing and my tote that has literally my life in it right now um, and yeah that's all so let's get in the uber hey y'all so um, we just got to lunch and it's at the proper hotel and it's so cute And this is my current like aesthetic right now. It's black and oak. I love this combo. Oh, thank you. She's so cute. Look at her. She's so cute. It's a little southwestern like Aztec vibes with all the pots and stuff. This is so cute. Adding to my Christmas list. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Oh my god. Look at me. Okay, we should start in. Start in and then go out. Wait, you're the only one doing a room. Are you doing a room? I'm doing a video. Oh, sure. I'm doing a video. Cheers. <laughs> So we just got food and now we're back. And I wanted to go to the expo cause like TikTok and like some other booths have some cool things that I didn't get to do yesterday. So come with me. We're heading into Stripe, happy hour. We've really just been chilling. It's like six o'clock now. Oh, Ooh, they playing City Girls, so you know this one's like. <laughs> Okay, y'all. So now me and Jelana are headed to the Pinterest event. I'm praying that it works out because I really did want to go to a Pinterest event in the first place. Stripes was outside and it's like way too cold. It's freezing. It's freezing. Like my fingers were hurting. It was so cold. So we were there for like how long were we there? Not long. It felt like forever. It felt it like forever. Long. Yeah, but it wasn't even long. It's just so cold outside. Yeah. So it would have been so good if it wasn't. Though. Yes, because the music started to get really good. They play Drake's new album and everything. But we need to be warm. Like I didn't put my sweater on and it still wasn't enough. I was putting over my hands like gloves. Um, but yeah. So let's fingers crossed. Pinterest is gonna work out. It's gonna work out. Why you let more than your capacity make an RSVP? Okay, 
So we are now, oh I'm sweating. We are now at the Zillow event. It's been an adventure and I'm glad that we're inside so we're warm, but we got an event. Okay, they waiting on me. So we're in an Uber now to get to the final event, which is Render. We have been looking forward to this event all day, but honestly, once I got in the whole, I haven't really been eating. Like, we ain't got set lunch and dinner time, so my stomach was really hurting. And so I was like, I really just will go back to the room. And I have an important, like, in the, in the morning at 9 a.m. So I was like, let me go back to the room. And I was like, no, I, I get FOMO. I'm telling y'all, I get FOMO. So I was like, no, nope, let me just go out because I don't want to miss out. But now they're saying that it's outside, saying the line is long. If that's true, like, I'm ready to go back inside. <sighs> These well, girls. We over it too, shit. My, my man calling. So, hey, I want to talk like to my book. It's Wednesday. I um, am about to head down. Maybe I should fly down this part of my hair. I didn't. Mm, I think I'm gonna roll with it. I didn't just let it like, I literally like barely even did my hair because my hair has been like so time consuming and I feel like the waves are there for the most part. I like recramp these front two little pieces and was like, we gonna roll with it. But anyways, um, I woke up this morning and I actually had an interview at nine this morning. So I did that and then um, I just got dressed. So I'm about to get in the Uber. I'm about to go down. There's a state of Afro Tech Talk that I do actually want to go to. Um, me and my friends, as y'all probably saw, we have feedback for Afro Tech. Um, we're thankful to be here, but just, you know, always feedback and room for improvement. Um, so I do want to like kind of see what they're chatting about and then see um, if there's like a way that I can wiggle and like chat with somebody. I don't know. Get somebody's contact info, you know, maybe. Um, then we're eating lunch and then. You know, we just see how the day goes. Um, I'm wearing this vest from Zara. This unitard situation from Amazon. And my Balenciagas, like, super chill. I went to law school. Um, over 50% of people are from the South. Woo! Around 25% of you all are highly technical engineers, uh, product. The lighting is everything out here right, right now. Everything. The expo ended at 2, so um, we lit for the rest of the night. Yeah, basically, <laughs> we just lit for the rest of the day and the night. And so, um, we're gonna eat soon and then just kind of see like what the moves are. But I need to put these sunglasses on my face. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna find a move in a little bit. Um, it actually is a good day for that cookout. If that carefree black girl cookout oh, that she didn't want to go to. It was like one to five. Where is it then? Um, let me see. Uh, Cheer Up Charlie, Red River Street. So we're heading to PF Chains for lunch with the girls. And uh, we actually met someone with Soho House. Good vibes, Craig, right? Good vibes. I think he's gonna join us. And we're really just gonna see how the day goes because there's nothing really planned until you saw her house later. So. For 
Korea. Yes. Yeah, that that was. Yeah, yeah I, we both have to do it. Ooh. Oh, this is so oh, wow. cute. Bioluminescence. This is so cute. So, feedback for Afrotech is a bar crawl, technical workshop, but also some type of mixers for your discipline, for your specialty. So having a data science happy hour at this restaurant where all the data scientists linked up and went to this happy hour. All the happy hours were like hosted by companies and that was the, con the focus. Right. But I think that would have been so cool to actually, because like, there were like 6,000 people in there. So it's no way that I would have found, like I could have went through and been like, data scientists? Where's the data scientists? You can't do that. So that is something they definitely need. But someone did ask a good question today. Um, at the um, state of Afrotech, they asked like, how can we stay involved, like stay connected? Is, is there like a way that you can meet other alumni of Afrotech? And they mentioned that they're working on an app. Well, they have the app. They said it needs to get bugs, it needs to be worked on. But, but they said that they're also working on um, a membership. They said that they might be doing a membership in the future where you pay this much money like a month and you're part of like a community where you can, because um, she said they're also offering like the companies have approached them offering like server credits and like different credits for like Coursera or Udemy or something. I'm not gonna be too haterish because they are just like taking off. Yeah. So that's what she was saying. She was like, I heard y'all feedback about the app. She was like, we working on it. But their hope is to really expand the app to not just the youth for the conference, but to network, to, you know, have a community. But we really can have like a, um, I don't know. I just feel like it, it it has to be organized or it's gonna be messy. Like I hate being in those real big group meetings and stuff. Like it needs to be or even Discord. Do you use Discord? I do for gaming. Uh it's it's just the app is messy. I only use it on my computer for gaming. Yeah. Today was a super chill day. Like we just ate, walked around the shopping center. Um, and now I'm back in my hotel. My flight is like in, what is it? Like in six hours, five hours? Like I'm about to pack my bag and take a quick little cat nap and head to the airport. <laughs> and I'm like dreading like the early flight, but I'm excited about the early flight so that I can get home. Um, Paris actually has an interview tomorrow, um, like his first residency interview, that's so exciting for him. So I just got off the phone with him and he's going to sleep. Um, so I'm about to pack this bag and try to catch some sleep a little bit and head to the airport. Um, I know Jelana has an early flight as well, so I'll probably meet up with her at the airport. Um, and yeah, 